Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over the brand new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Collection. I have the eyeshadow palette, the brushes, both lip products, and the little makeup bag that the brushes came in. And I just got them. <laughs> I got them today. I didn't know that if you purchase the brushes or the whole set that it was going to take longer. I found out in my comment section, so thank you to whoever told me I was probably missing information. I probably didn't look. I probably just got excited and bought it, <laughs> to be completely honest. So I'm going to show you guys this look. We're going to go over all of the products, but before I do, there is something that I want to say because I feel like this is something that needs to be said, at least for me. It would take a big weight off of my chest. This is something that I've been thinking about probably for the last week and a half. I am the creator of the, youth, the youthful, <laughs> the truthful YouTuber tag. And while I appreciate all the love that I got and everyone going and you know doing their version of the tag or redoing, recreating the tag, I do appreciate that. But I was not in a good headspace. I truly was not. And I didn't remember the video at all the way the way I remembered it was kind of like a, huh, oh, it's goofy and informative, but still positive. And that's not what it was when I went back and looked at it. It had been a while since I actually went back and watched the video. And when I did, honestly, I was disappointed in myself. And that's hard to say, but I, I was. I know that I was not in a good headspace. That was not a good year for me at all. <laughs> and that's not an excuse. It's part of life. We all go through times. But... Would I do that video again today? Yeah, I probably would, but I think I, my disposition would be much sweeter. <laughs> I think that I was in an angry place. So when I go back and I look at that video, it doesn't make me happy. I made the decision this morning to take it down. When I look at it, I feel like it's very negative. I feel like I looked angry. You can see pain and anger in my eyes. At least I can. So I decided to take it down. I want to acknowledge that in that video, I did say point blank that Manny MUA was the creator that I said I did not trust. I can't take that back. And at the time, that was true. And honestly, right now, I don't know if I do or if I don't. I don't really watch him that much. I've watched a couple, but I just, I haven't fully dove back in. But what I can say is that people change. I changed. I don't think that I am the same person I was two years ago. Two years ago, I'm just, I don't like looking back on that time. Some of you may know why, some of you may not, but the point is that I was not in a good place. And while I said that, and while I meant it at the time, I do believe that he has made several changes. Otherwise, this collection would not have been bought. I'm just being 100% honest with you, and I'll be 100% honest in my review, but I have to say that I understand that people go through times in their lives, people say things, and then they can change. And back then, there were a lot of things said and a lot of things going on that I wasn't, I didn't want to be a part of, and it's kind of funny because I feel like I added to it, and I apologize for adding to it. And I want to say that I think it's incredible that somebody can take a negative time and turn it around. That is all I want to say. I'm not kissing anyone's butt. I just want to put that out there because that is authentically me. So anywho, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the actual collection. I'm trying to figure out how much I actually spent on the entire collection because I can see each individual price, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember how much I spent on the entire thing. I don't know. I don't see it on this site. Maybe it's gone. Maybe I'm missing it. So I'm just going to go through each individual product. The first product is the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Palette. This is nice and weighted in your hands and this part is raised. Can you guys see that? Oh, it looks, whoo, on the camera that looks so cool. The eclipse. Have you guys seen an eclipse before? I think it was a couple years ago. I was so upset because I had to go to work during, like right at the eclipse. I got to see it, but then I had to go on my car. <laughs> this is beautiful. There's texture on the palette. This is risen where it says eternal eclipse. This is risen, and then this is as well. And I can even, do I feel the stars? I think I feel the stars. 
Either way, it's gorgeous. I love the entire palette, the design. I think it is stunning. And then on the inside, we've got a mirror. And oh, okay, we're gonna push it all the way back. <laughs> and then these gorgeous warm tone, a few cool tones and blues. And then we have mattes as well as these shimmers. Some This one right here has a little bit more of just like a sheen. This shade right here is a matte with sparkle in it. Not this one, it's this one right here. <laughs> so you have a nice variety of textures and colors and it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. It retails for $48 and the description reads, this color story is the perfect neutral combo. We have gorgeous warm tones and stunning cool shades. The Eternal Eclipse palette is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette with seven mattes and eight shimmers. These shades blend easily and effortlessly with our classic Lunar Beauty shadow formula. You ready for a night out on the town or a night at home? Eternal Eclipse is your girl. The seven Lunar Beauty brushes, as well as the bag that they came in, retails for $35, but you can get the brushes individually, and you can also get the makeup bag individually. I think this is actually sold out, though. I don't know if there's going to be a restock or not. I don't know. The description for the brushes reads that they are amazing, high-quality synthetic brushes. Not only are they cruelty-free, but they are also so soft with crimped brush hairs to mimic natural hair. The ombre handle, yeah, I really like the design of the handle. It's really pretty. Iconic. <laughs> this set is complete with a gorgeous, easy to clean black makeup bag that can fit all your essential glam goodies. Perfect for everyday outing. Don't forget your LB brushes. It says it's a $51 value. You've got blending brushes in here and then detail brushes, smaller blending brushes. It's a really nice, well-rounded set. Then we have these two beauties, which uh, packaging goals. These are beautiful. I'll show you later. <laughs> the tops on these are just so distracting because I'm looking at them just like doing this. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> but we have a gloss in the shade Aura. This is $17. And then the liquid lipstick in Zaya? Zaya? Something like that, and this is $18. The liquid lipstick is described as a nude terracotta, and then the gloss is a true nude lip gloss with pink undertone, perfect for all complexions. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the demo. I'm gonna show you guys this eye look, and then I will show you both of the lip products, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. Lunar Beauty E1, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Dusk. I'm gonna apply this into my crease back and forth, and then circular motions to blend it out. Picking up a little bit more product, I'm gonna start further on the inner corner, and then work it outward and blend. Similar. I sound like s'more, hmm. <laughs> Lunar Beauty E2, Sandstorm. I'm gonna pop this on the outer corner and then blend it upward. When less product is on my brush, I'm going to go even higher with it. Cleaning up the outer corner just a little bit with the sponge. And then I'm using the same shade, but I'm switching to an E3. And I'm popping this on the inner corner. taking the excess and moving it over here. <laughs> I think I had a little too much on my brush. And then I'm gonna blend on this side. This brush really hugs that crease for me. Back in with the E1, I'm just going right around the edges. I didn't pick up any additional product. 
Lunar Beauty E6, going back in with the shade Dusk. I'm applying this right along the lower lash line. E5 in the shade Flare, highlighting the brow arch. Ooh, I like this. It's nice and smooth. It's like not too intense, but it's still there. Back in with the E3 in the shade Smoke. I want to add a little bit more depth to this outer corner. Bringing it up into the crease just a little bit so that when my eyes are open, you can see the smokiness. Going in with a little bit more. Kind of angling the brush so that I can softly push it upward. The shadow, that is. <laughs> Again, a little bit more on the inner corner. Again, same brush and the shade Night Sky. I'm going to tap this on the outer corner. This shade does have glitter in it. So be careful. I'm using more of a tapping motion. I think this shade would be really pretty. But to hold on to the glitter, you're going to have to put down a base. And obviously I'm putting this over top of other shades. So the glitter probably is not going to stick around. I'd be shocked, but you know, might not stick around for this look. Yeah, I just looked in the mirror. I don't see it. <laughs> but I, I expect that with the shimmer and the glitter, blah, 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 the glitter in the mattes. The only way it's really going to stay at least in my experience, is if you put a sticky base down and then put the shade just directly on it. Next up, I'm going to go in with Gold Dust on the Lunar Beauty E5. And I'm going to press this on the center of the lid. And then start moving around. Tapping around the last shades we laid down. I'm going to build this up. And this is building up nicely, and I'm not getting a bunch of fallout which is really good. And you could use it wet if you wanted to, to be a little bit more intense, but I, I like the way that this looks. I'm going back in with the shade Flare on a Lunar Beauty E4. This time I am gonna use it wet, and I'm placing it right up against my lashes, just to add a little bit more shine right in the center of the lid. Lunar Beauty E7, and again, the same shade, Flare. I'm going to apply this to the inner corner. I'm going to use it wet so it's a little bit more intense. And then right after, I will go add on liner and mascara. Eyes are done, but now I have two lip products here that I want to test out. I have the Lunar Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Zaya. Zaya? I think it's probably Zaya. I'm going to put both of these on, but I just want to open them first to look at them. <laughs> I think I'm going to put both of these on. I would assume so. I like this packaging. I like the look. That's, that's a really pretty detail. 
I'm sitting here entranced right now. I'm not even kidding. The top on this, I'm going to have to insert like a picture or something. Because I doubt you guys are going to be able to see. Can you see that little diamond looking thing at the top? It is so pretty. And then the whole component in of itself is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Let's see what color. <laughs> it's so much darker than what I usually wear. <laughs> I know this is a lot of people's color. <sighs> I, got, I gotta try it though, I gotta try it. All right, let me see what the gloss is like. And ooh, I wonder if it has that cool top. This is Aura, or Aura? Is it Aura? I think it's Aura. Don't break my nail. Come on, open up. Ah, break the box instead. <laughs> it does! Oh my, oh, I really like the white. Oh, I like them both. Why didn't I see that in the prom? I, I probably was not paying attention. This gloss color looks very promising. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. That's a Mel color right there. I wonder if I can pair them. You don't, it's not all liquid lipsticks you can do that with. I kind of want to try but I'm gonna put this on first. Mm, it smells good, it smells like icing. Not, I wouldn't say intense. This is a good gloss. I love this. It is hard to find glosses this color. You guys, I'm literally so excited right now. I love this color. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. It's thin, not sticky, not too thin. It looks beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> All right, I am going, I really want to leave this on. I really want to put on a liner and put, and just leave this. I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put this on. I actually like it. It's not that I do. Okay, so for me, wearing a darker eye and then a darker lip is is not, I, I used to do this all the time, but I'm not used to it anymore. So it kind of throws me off, but I've had this on. So I, I'm filming a lot today. I think I've already said that. I don't know, I've filmed so many, <laughs> filmed so many videos. I don't know what I've said in what video. <laughs> But I've had this on now for, I want to say, 30 to 45 minutes. And if you can see, I still have a little bit of a sheen. And when I read the description, it said that it's a hydrating formula. And I have to say that it definitely is. My lips are not mad at me at all. I thought for sure I was going to end up putting on the gloss. But I don't think I need to. This feels really, really good. It's not sticky. It's not settling down into the lines. It's not making me look like I got butthole lips or anything like that. And I like the color. I probably would not wear it with this eye just because, like I said, it's a little dark for me and then a little dark. I would go with some of the softer shades in the palette and then wear this. But this is definitely a color I will wear. I really like it. And I really like the gloss. So if you're asking me about these two, both of them are good. If you want a liquid lipstick but you don't want something that's going to dry out your lips, this is really nice. I do think it will transfer at least initially just because of the shine, but I don't, I, okay. It does. I did it very, very lightly because I didn't want to take off <laughs> all the shine. I think that if you dabbed it with a tissue, it would become more matte, but I don't want that to happen. I just wanted to test it out just a little bit. And then the gloss, A, the color is phenomenal. It truly is just so beautiful. This I'm, I'm mm, mm -hmm. but the packaging then too, these, killer. It just, I, I really like those. The brush set, it's $35. You're getting seven brushes and a bag for $35 and you can buy them individually, but just, I really can't be mad at these for $35. If you like Sigma brushes, I do think that you will like these, but keep in mind, they're not super high quality. I don't love them. If they were higher priced, I would not, I, I would be kind of like, eh, they're neither here nor there. But I like that they're $35. That does make a difference in my book. Let me look at the price if, say you were to just buy each individual brush. So $6, $6, $6, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $
if I'm looking at these, I'm going to compare them to, you know, the nicer e.l.f. brushes are around the same price, and these are definitely better. I do really like the ombre effect. I think this is so beautiful. They don't have weight to them, so don't expect to have weight, but again, $35. So I think that if you like things along Sigma, you will like these. They're not necessarily something that I gravitate towards. I'm very picky about synthetic brushes. I don't love these, but I'm not mad at them either. I will say this brush right here, with the first shade that I put on, I had to go in a little bit more than I think I would have had to do if I was using a natural hairbrush, but it's gonna be a preference thing. I do really like these tiny brushes. I love the tiny ones. Let me tell you the, the names. So my favorite ones are the E7, the E6, I actually really like this one too because the size I can really get on the inner and outer corner. It is the E5. And then this one kind of reminds me of the Zoeva brush that I like, the 227, but I do like my Zoeva one much better. It's a little stiffer and it's a mixed fiber brush, so I feel like I can get a little bit more product laid down and I can blend just a little bit easier, but this is still, it's still a nice brush. Then... Um, this one's okay. It's not my favorite one for detailing. It's the E4. I wish it was a little bit softer. Oh, I told you the wrong one for the inner corner. This is the one for the inner corner. <laughs> like, why did I do that? This is the one I used on the lid. This is the E3. So my least favorite is this one, which I think is probably going to be a lot of people's favorite one. I just like something a little bit stiffer whenever I'm going in that area. Or I could use that for something that I just want to have a lighter application. Overall, for the money, you're getting a really good deal. Now let's talk about the palette. We already know that uh, packaging, the whole thing, the presentation of it all is top notch. It really, really is. When I look at this, it is so aesthetically pleasing. It's gorgeous to look at. And this palette is, do you see the reflection and everything? There's just a lot of detail that went into this collection. I mean, the tops on those lipsticks and gloss, like I just can't. They are so pretty. This is the same. And even when you open it up on the inside, I love the little details of having the moon and stars on these matte shades down the center. Those kind of details they add to a palette, not necessarily whether or not they blend or not, but just looking at it, the details make a difference and nothing about this feels cheap to me. Everything worked really well. I do think that it would have been a little bit easier on me if I was using my normal brushes that I use, but that's just what I'm used to and my preference. It still worked beautifully with the brushes. I just know that it would have taken me less time and I don't think I would have had to pick up as much product if I was using the brushes that I already had in my collection. I like that the mattes are very blendable. They're smooth. Everything still applies on top of one another. I can't stand it when things get muddy or when they start to not catch on the outer corner. I like to be able to layer and these did layer. I did have to build just a little bit but nothing bad. Again, I really do believe that if I was using my brushes, which I do tend to use natural hair brushes, that it would have been just a little bit easier on me. The shimmers at the top, I did not use all of them, but I like that they were buildable. You can use these wet or dry. Initially, the first time I put it on, I was like, wait, I heard these shimmers were good. <laughs> and then when I built, I was like, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. And then I used this one wet, and you can definitely see the difference between how it looks on my brow bone versus how I put it on my lash line and on the inner corner. Definitely a good formula. I've heard nothing but amazing things from this brand, and I'm not disappointed. I really do enjoy this. And oh, I was expecting to get a ton of fallout. I really was. I, I, I get fallout all the time and it doesn't bother me, but I noticed that this had very little fallout, like nearly none, and that just doesn't happen a lot. So if you don't like fallout, this, I, I got nothing. I'm I'm just, I'm shocked. <laughs> and I don't know if that's the formula or if it's because I was using those brushes which applied it softer. I don't know, but I'm pleasantly surprised with that. And even this shade right here, I knew this was going to happen. I, I love to look at these type of shades. This is Night Sky. It's a matte with a glitter in it, 
but it doesn't stay there. I, so I don't necessarily see the point. You can make it work and you can put it on with your finger, but I'm telling you, it, it leaves anyway. The glitter leaves. <laughs> so it's just pretty to look at. Um, I wanted to do a blue eye. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to do like a full on blue eye, but I've seen so many and I was just like, mm, I'm gonna try and do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna continue to play with this palette, but I have to tell you that my experience was good. I had a very good first impression experience with this palette. Yes, I will continue to use this and I will update you all. Please let me know what you think about everything. What do you think about the look, all the products? I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.